am I still stuck in 2016? Because my Instagram just now started to blow up with slime videos. What is up everyone? Happy New Year, happy 2017. Those are the exact same thing. This is my first video recorded and edited in the year of 2016. This is my first video recorded and edited in 2017 and I'm pretty excited. I'm really excited for this year to come because there's so many things that I want to do and accomplish this year. I am definitely going to be taking this year a lot more seriously than I did last year and personally I just can't wait to get started. As you can tell by the title of this video, this video is my goals for 2017. To start it off, I really want to get better at photography. Some of you guys who know me on a personal level, as in like my friends and stuff, know that I really like to take pictures and I like to post them. Um, edit them and all that. I really like taking pictures and making them nice and professional-ish on a professional level because I just do it on my phone and I post them to my Visco cam and my Instagram. Links down below. I want to get better at singing. I really love to act and sing and perform in plays and musicals and all that and I don't really know if I'm a good singer. I'm not really comfortable on singing like in front of a ton of people even though I do it on stage because like I have to get warmed up to it. But like posting a video of me singing isn't really something I would do soon, maybe not, ever, I don't know. I want to hopefully at least hit 1,000 subscribers. This is a goal that I believe I can hit by the end of the year, hopefully, maybe. I want to see if that could happen. Please tell me if it could happen, I would probably freak out if it did. I'm making a big deal about it because I only have 65 subscribers. Not complaining. Another thing I want to do this year is be a happier person. I'm going to seriously start to care about myself a little bit more. I'm going to put myself and my own feelings before many other people. Many other people. I'm gonna put my feelings before other people because all of last year, I made sure everyone was happy and I put my feelings aside. Didn't really care how I felt as long as everyone else around me was happy because that's what made me happy. But I think this year I'm going to, hopefully, I'm going to, I'm going to start to care about myself a little bit more. Gotta be a happy person. I want to make more friends. I honestly want to make a huge variety of friends, not just in real life, like this type of life, but I want to make friends online, just through YouTube, hopefully, I want to make some YouTuber friends so we can like collab and all that stuff. Now here is a goal that a ton of people have, is to get in shape. I personally want to hopefully get into shape, I want to have a little bit more muscle, a little bit more strength, and I've been doing pretty well. My dad and I have been working out and it's something that I want to see what type of change I would have by the end of, by, eh, by the end of the year. <laughs> Lastly, I really want to get better at filming. I really hope this year that I could get a camera and I could get a computer or a good working computer because I have one right here. But it doesn't really let me edit anything on it because it's not compatible. It's just like a little Chromebook. I've tried to work with it with the YouTube editor, but it's kind of like... I'm kind of nervous because I don't really like change that much. That's another thing. I want to do more things. I want to experience change because change is a good thing. I've noticed that a long time ago. But hopefully I can, yeah, get a camera, get a computer so I can release better content that I am 100% proud of. I'm honestly proud of the content I have down below with my most viewed video, the Pokemon Go video parody with one of my best friends. I really love her to death. She's amazing. Guys, go check out her channel. It's... Her name will be like right here, link in the description. She's just an amazing person and I really, really care about her. Just go subscribe. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below of some of your guys' New Year's resolutions. I wanna see if like we can relate on a relatable level. What? Can I speak today? You guys know what I mean. Next week, I won't be having a video like this. I know I haven't had a video where I stand and actually talk to you guys because next week I am going to CETA. Yay. For those of you who don't know, CETA is the California Theater, huh? Hold on. I'm just gonna read it. CETA is the California Educational Theater Association. It is a festival in which many drama departments in SoCal enter their fall plays. Excuse me. CETA is the California Educational Theater Association. It is a festival which many drama departments in SoCal enter their fall plays so they can be judged and if they win first, by the way there's only four spots where you could like win first in four different divisions, they get to perform their fall play at the festival. It also just surrounds the art of theater and it's just an overall fun experience. Basically, it's just a three-day camp for theater nerds. Like me. 
I like acting. Okay guys, I'm done talking now, and remember Lego pieces, stay connected.